Hey everybody, Aphrodite's Crush here with you once again. Um, a little bit of mood lighting for this particular video. I was going to turn this into a cardio confessions video, but uh, I'm doing a lot of the cardio confessions videos on you now, right now, so um, be sure to sub to me over on you now. However, this video is not about you now, it's not about anything else. It's about something that I've noticed uh, for the past couple days on YouTube and YouTube fitness in particular. And it's something that uh, some people have addressed in the past, but I feel it's important for someone like me who isn't, you know, cut, shredded, whatever, to kind of address. I'm seeing a lot of videos with people talking about their genetics. Now, everybody knows that your genetics are the most important thing as it pertains to your body. You know, your genetics maintain your metabolism, maintains what your standard body type is, how high you grow up to be, and standard what your what, what kind of what your your basic fitness level is going to be for the most part. However, your genetics is like the building blocks. It's like it's like the base. You know, your your body is a temple. And your genetics makes up you know, the, the bricks at the bottom and the basement and like that first floor, you know. And I'm seeing a lot of people say, well, I don't, I can't do this because of my genetics. I don't do this because of my genetics. And it, well, let's get something straight. You may not be able to put on a whole lot of mass because of your metabolism, because of your genetics. You have, may have a slower metabolism, so you may end up being a little bit of a bigger person because of your genetics. However, your genetics don't make up your will. Your genetics don't make up your choices. Your genetics don't, uh, don't mandate what you do every day. The things that you eat, the activities you decide to partake in. And this is not a knock on someone who has like an actual like a physical disability. This is for everyone who's like, oh, I I just didn't go to the gym today because of my genetics. You know, it's it's just sad. No, you didn't go to the gym today, or you ate the Twinkie in, instead of uh, have a protein shake because of your will and your poor choices. Now, the reason why I think I'm a, a good candidate to tell you people about this is the fact that I was that person for so long. There was a time in my life where I just didn't care, and I made poor choices. I'd just sit and snack down on McDonald's and Taco Bell, not caring about anything that I ate. No Twinkies and Ding Dongs and everything out of the, uh, the, um... The little machines at work, you know, taking down a 12 pack of Mountain Dew a day at minimum, at minimum, you know, that's not genetics. That is your willpower. That is your want to be healthy. That is up here. That's your mentality. That's your, your drive, your motivation. And uh, I, I, I got hungry for. You know, I got hungry for Taco Bell. I just my genetics are so bad. No, <laughs> no, no. There's a difference between giving into a craving every once in a while, like about once a week, maybe twice. I'll have a pop because every now and then I, I kind of want to have a little bit of that kind of, you know, sweet kind of sugary taste in my mouth a little bit that's not, you know, tied to a protein, and I'll do that. It kind of helps stave off the other things I'd like to have, you know, every once in a while. Like, I, I, I used to have a, a big craving for ice cream, for instance. Like, this time of year, we all want ice cream. And, of course, I'm in that category because I like ice cream. I used to have this, this you know, big, uh, like, uh, the big tubs that you get, like, for $3 at Kroger's. Now I have it down to a small pint, you know. And that's me taking my choices and making better choices than I have in the past. Instead of completely binging out on something, taking that binge out, kicking it down to a small craving, and then improving on that. That's willpower. That, that's 
your want and your need to be a better person. That's not genetics. You know, you can't sit there and, and say to me, a person who's been in that extreme in the past, that you make poor choices because of genetics. You know? No. You don't make poor choices because of genetics. You make poor choices because your willpower is not at the level it needs to be at. You make poor choices because you value your instant gratification over your overall health. How do I know that? Because I made the same mistakes. Genetics, as a standard, is turning into an excuse when it should be the foundation of the castle that you're building, the temple that your body is. It should be the groundwork. It should be the brick and mortar that you build everything on. And so many of us are not doing that. So many of us are just, for lack of a better term, kind of pissing away our potential. Because we live in a very now society. You know, we want self-gratification. We want instant gratification. You know, we eat good for a week. We want to have, you know, we want to treat ourselves. You know, we want to reward ourselves and, and, and all this stuff. And I used to make those same excuses. Oh, I ate good this week so I can, you know, pick out and binge out a little bit. Well... Being a larger guy and digging that hole, you gotta eliminate stuff like that. You, know, you can't take two steps forward and take a step back and end up expecting to be a mile in no time whatsoever. And that is not even taking into account the fact that weight loss and muscle gain and changing your body is not instantaneous. You no, know, it's not, and you're done. It's it's a grind. It's no wonder that a minimum 50% of the people who start off on a lifestyle change never follow through because we want that, 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 that synapse fire and that, oh, we're doing so well. We want that now, 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 now. And so many of us are failing because of that. So, ladies and gentlemen, attribute your bad choices to bad choices. Attribute your cravings to cravings and work on them. Get better. You know, everything starts off small. I've said that for the longest time. Baby steps are still steps. You're moving in the right direction. It's going to take you longer to get there. But you can do it. Because I'm doing it. And I feel the best that I've ever felt in my life. Every single day. And that... That's not genetics. That's hard work. And we'll see you on the next one, ladies and gentlemen.